Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 2nd of October and I'm here as always to give you a daily dose of the latest gaming news. This time I have some news for you concerning the rather long awaited Warcraft film as it has finally been given a release date and this was via the Warcraft's official Twitter account and they said quote we're pleased to announce that Legendary Pictures Warcraft will release by Universal Picks on December 18th, 2015. Now, of course, that will place it in the rather popular festive fantasy blockbuster slot that, of course, is going to be jostling with competition, but, of course, did prove rather successful several for several Harry Potter films, The Lord of the Rings, and, of course, The Hobbit. Now, this has a bit of a long and winding tale since it began development back in 2006, where, of course, it originally was supposed to be helmed by director Sam Raimi, who came on board in 2009, but he left the project back in 2012, claiming that Blizzard's mismanagement had left him. And, of course, the screenwriter Robert Rodat working on a script that the publisher hadn't approved. Now, I'm not really going to touch on that, but, of course, we now have Duncan Jones, and he was director of Moon and Source Code, and he is apparently a keen gamer, and he did actually say back in 2010, before he actually came on board as director, that he was hugely jealous of Raimi for the the job and it says quote it's not worrying about how the game plays it's about creating the world of the game and investing the audience in that world now the movie will actually begin production early 2014 and of course will be based around the Warcraft novel The Last Guardian with Colin Farrell being rumoured as a star. Now, a teaser for the film was released back at San Diego Comic Con, and of course, I will post a link to that in the description if you wish to check it out. So there you have it. It seems like it's at least in good hands. Of course, it's a bit of a shame that we lost out on Sam Raimi due to whatever happened between him and Blizzard, but Duncan Jones is a pretty damn good choice. And of course, Moon and Source Code, both very good films. And of course, if he is a D&D gamer like he's claiming, then I say that like, it's in very safe hands and he seems to understand that it's not about how the game plays, it's creating the world of the game and investing you in that world. And of course, the world of Azeroth is a massive one. And of course, we will only see a small portion of it, I'm sure, within this particular film. But I do wonder what the budget, the final budget, is going to be on this particular film once it's actually released on December 2015. And of course, that's quite a long wait. So that's basically, you know, a very, very long time for you to wait. But at least now we actually have a release date for this film, which is basically in limbo for quite some time now since Raimi left back um, in 2012. <laughs> So I say that it's in fairly good hands and that I'm fairly optimistic that we'll at least get a decent film, of course. Films based on video games do not exactly have the best history. Most of them are terrible, with some rare exceptions to the rule. And... Of course, you know, it does leave you some trepidation, especially if you have a lot invested in the series slash game that they're working on. But I'd say that we're in with a fairly good shot to actually get a pretty damn good a blockbuster film out of this particular project. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.